Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for Name Above All Names by Charity Gale. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. Last but not least, if you'd like to donate to my channel, you can actually do just that by clicking the three dots next to the like button and you can go from there and I really appreciate it. Also, if you're interested in my top eight tuning tips for any musician, you can click the link in the description and it'll take you to a landing page. And all you gotta do is enter your email and you will get those top eight tuning tips. All right, let's grab your acoustic guitar. You're gonna need a capo also, and let's get started. All right, like I said, you're gonna need a capo. It's gonna go on the third fret. We're gonna be playing in the key of C to match the original key, which is technically, E flat. And I'm sorry for all my guitar players out there because E flat is not a nice key for us. That's why we usually need a capo to play in E flat. So you could play this song actually with a capo on the first fret playing in D because it's still going to match playing in C if you put it on the third fret. The reason we're putting the capo on the third fret is to match what's happening in the music video. So if you watch the music video, you'll notice that the acoustic guitar player is putting his capo on the third fret. So Part of the reasoning is that, and part of the reasoning is the voicing. So when you're listening to the track, you're hearing that capo three sound. Here are the chords you need to know. C, F, G, A minor, C over E, and E minor. All right, so let's talk about C and C over E because they're pretty similar. You're gonna start with your index finger down on the B string, first fret, middle finger down on the D string, second fret. And remember, this is all relative to the capo, ring finger, A string, third fret. And you get to strum everything except the low E. What's nice about this is you get to keep the same shape for the next chord, which is C over E. You just add the lowest string. So now you're playing a C over E with that low E string. To play the F chord, you're going to keep the same shape that you have for the C and C over E, put your pinky down now on the D string, third fret. You can lift off that middle finger, and now you have an F chord. Now, it's not a complete F chord. It's more of like an F2, so just be aware of that, but it still gets the job done. And you have to avoid strumming the low E and the high E for this. That's the F chord. Now, if you want to go crazy and bar the F, you can bar the entire first fret, middle finger on the second fret G string, ring finger, pinky on the A and D strings of the third fret. And of course, you can definitely tell that's a deeper sound because it's adding that low E string. So whatever floats your boat and whatever is more comfortable for you. Next one we have is the A minor chord. You're going to put your index finger again on the B string, first fret, middle finger down on the D string, second fret and ring finger down on the G string second fret as well. You get to strum everything except the low E again. A minor. You can also play A minor seven by lifting your ring finger up. And that just adds a little bit more flavor to your chord. Next up we have the G chord. Put your middle finger down on the low E third fret, index finger down on the A string second fret. And I like to put my ring finger and pinky down on the third fret, high E and B string. This is everything strum for G. All right, and last but not least, you have an E minor here on occasion. So you're gonna put your index finger and middle fingers down on the second fret A and D strings respectively. And this is E minor. And I forgot to mention, you're strumming all the strings. You could also put your ring finger and pinky down like the G chord for this E minor. But it's up to you on how you'd like that to sound because I feel that that's the, what they're using in the music video and on the track. So it's really up to you on how you want that to sound, but I prefer just those two fingers in the second fret A and D strings. All right, now we're gonna start with a playthrough. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the chords on screen for you. I'll see them as we go along and then we'll go over some strumming patterns after we play through the song. Here we go. Come on, lift your hands. F, C, G. G. F. C. 
C over E. G. F. C over E. G. F. A minor. G. F. C over E. G. F. C over E. G. A minor, G, C, F, A minor, G, C over E, F, A minor, G, C, G, F, C over E, G, F, C over E, G, A minor, F, C over E, G, F, A minor, G, Minor G 
seed. of his power to usward who believe and according to his might the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and he set him at his own right hand in heavenly places he's far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but in the world that is to come and God hath put all things under his feet and given him to be head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness which filleth all in all who is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of every creature for by him were all things created whether they're in heaven whether they're in earth whether they're visible or invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him and he is before all things and through him all things consist and he's the head of the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence for it pleased the father that in him should all the I was able to help you out with that tutorial. Let's talk about some strumming patterns and actually the melody line in the bridge that you can play because there's some parts of the bridge that you don't have to play a chord for, but you can play the melody. Actually, we'll start with that because it's kind of fun. We're going to start on the third fret, high E, first fret, open string, B string, third fret, and then two C chords. So once again, high E, third fret, first finger, First fret, high E, open E, B string, third fret. That's all you gotta do. Now, of course, that's an organ part, so it's not necessarily a guitar part. Don't steal it from your keyboard player, but if you don't have a keyboard player, perhaps you can cover that part. All right, here is the strumming pattern that starts the song with F, C to G. So we have F, C, G. And it's actually pretty easy because it's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's just in eighth notes. So once again, F, C, G. 
the only thing you want to keep in mind is the G chord lasts for four counts. So it's F for two, C for two, and G for four. One more thing you want to try is with your pick, try to turn it a little bit sideways. So you're using the edge of your pick when you're strumming the beginning. Because I believe the acoustic guitar is the glue in the song that kind of keeps the band together. It's more of a percussive instrument and not necessarily a melodic instrument. So you're part of the rhythm section and you want to make sure that hear that ch -ch 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 of your pick that helps the band kind of gel together. If I had a regular hold on the pick with just a standard way of strumming, it's not as scratchy, but I kind of like that scratchiness only because again, I feel like the acoustic is the gel or the glue that's in the song that keeps the band together and it's part of the rhythm section. It's not a melodic instrument, at least for this song. All right, next up we have the main strumming pattern, I guess that you could do in the second chorus. This is how I would do it. So it's da 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 or down down alternate down 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 alternate down. After you do your first two downbeat strums, you're down down. I'm gonna come back up up down up down down, and that's the second part of that pattern. Up down up down down. So you have down down up down up. And you repeat that, at least for the bigger parts. Now, you might notice also, right before the bridge, I'm starting with an A minor, and I'm strumming eighth notes down like this. F. And that part, I'm really strumming lightly. I'm not trying to go crazy with it. Again, you're trying to be part of the rhythm section, especially in this part of the song. You're just trying to keep driving the song, and you're not trying to let it get stale. So that's really the acoustic guitar's job. It's a pretty big job, albeit not many people appreciate it, but it's something that it's very important to understand and consider, especially when you're on a worship team, or maybe you're just starting out. Everything that you're doing on acoustic guitar it matters, but it's how you execute it that also matters as well. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you'd like to donate to my channel, you can do just that by clicking the three dots next to the like button. You can go from there, and I really appreciate it. And last but not least, if you'd like my top eight tuning tips, you can click the link in the description below, and I can certainly help you out. Just click that link, and it will direct you to that page. All you got to do is put in your email, and you're good to go. You get that top eight tuning tips for free on me. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend and God bless.